Ann Feldman here from the TT for T team, and today I'm going to talk to you about Google Workflow and working with a shared folder. So, first of all, go into your Google Drive app and log in. And once you're logged in, you'll go to the share folder. That's the third icon down. It has the little silhouettes on it. And when you click on that, those are folders people have shared with you. Now your teacher has shared a folder with you, and in our case today it's called Spanish 5, but yours could look different and be named differently depending on what your teacher called it. Now when it's in your shared with me section, you're not able to save any documents to that folder. So the first thing we want to do is move this shared folder into your drive. The way you do that is touch the eye and that pulls up all the different options and these details are where all the magic happens. So if you notice clear up at the top it'll say share, remove, move to and star. So we're just going to select that move to and it will move it to your drive and this is your Google Drive. So all you have to do is go for the blue button that says move here and now after that that folder has now been added to your drive. Alright, now that you have that folder in your Google Drive, we want to set it up so you can start saving your work to this folder. Since everyone in your class is sharing this folder, you'll need to go in here and make a folder with your name on it so you can save your things into your own folder. So let's go into the Spanish 5 folder and see what's in here. So you're going to need to create a folder within that Spanish 5 folder. So notice, let's go into that folder and you'll see your teacher's already put a Me Gusta project folder. That's for your finished project. But along the path, you'll need to save your own work. So let's make a folder for you. Notice in the top right corner, it says plus. So going to the plus, you can create new documents, spreadsheets, and a new folder. So let's select new folder. And this untitled folder, we'll call it your name. And let's just name it your last name. That way, in case anybody has duplicate first names, this will be easier for everyone. So name that folder, and my last name is Feldman, so I'm just going to name it Feldman. And now I have a folder. And I happen to know that for your particular project, you're going to be saving some images. So let's go one step farther and go into your folder, and let's make another folder for images. So again, using that plus at the top right corner just create another new folder and we'll call this one images and that'll be where we put all of your images for your project so just to kind of recap what we have we took something from shared with me which is the little silhouette we went ahead and moved that Spanish 5 folder by touching the I and then popping down the details pane, moved it to our Google Drive, your own drive, and then within your own drive, we found that Spanish 5 folder, and inside of that, we created a folder with your name on it, and we did that again by um, touching the plus in the upper right corner, and then selecting new folder, and then within your own folder, so if we go inside of your folder, you went ahead and added another folder for images that you'll be saving. And that way everything will be neat and tidy in your Google Drive. And as you continue to work on projects, you can continue to use Google Drive as that container to hold all the parts and pieces um, until you create your finished product. Now your finished projects, you're going to save in the Megusta project folder. And we'll give you more details on that later. Thank you for watching TT for Teeth.